Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to our second week of the Tighten Up podcast. I'm Andrew, and my ho- and I have a special guest with us today, uh, everyone's favorite counselor, uh, Miss Scow. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm doing good. Good. Okay, so we wanted to, well, I wanted to ask you some questions about kind of how the brain should be thinking in this little environment. You know, okay. half empty, half full. Which of those mm-hmm. on that spectrum, where do you kind of lie? Um, I would say I'm almost always half full. But I'm also realistic, and if it's not half full, you have to understand what you got, too. So I want to be positive, but also realistic. So what do you think, like, students should be adapting for mm-hmm. right now? Because I've, I've been trying to get the half full because I was a real Debbie Downer at the start of high school. <laughs> so I've been um, trying to push back to that. I do think, and the science backs it up, about the power of positive thinking or the power of thinking in general. So whether you're a Debbie Downer or... I don't know, a positive patty. (laughs) Um, It does show, and I think the science shows that it works. And so if you are constantly telling yourself a certain way to think, eventually you can convince yourself that it's true. Um, So I do believe that anytime you go into a situation, the more positive you are about it, the more you kind of hype yourself up then you'll eventually start to believe it. And um, so I do think it it really does work. I think there's more of that in this school at this point, or you think we're still got some mileage to make? (laughs) Well, I think there's always mileage to be made. And I think that we can always get better. But I do think even from when I started here in um, 2020, we have made strides. And if you ask pretty much any junior in particular, um, what's my favorite saying? And the favorite, my favorite saying is, I can do hard things or we can do hard things. Um, and again, it's because if you tell yourself that over and over, you will believe it and you will approach the situation or whatever it is that's tough, the test, the quiz, whatever the obstacle is, and know that you can do it at some point. Yes, I I think that's very important, especially Mm -hmm. here where the work can be kind of egregious in some areas, but you really need to just push through and and get better as a person, I feel like. A hundred percent. And sometimes doing the bare minimum is doing the hard thing, and that's okay. Sometimes just showing up to school is the hard thing. Uh, We don't expect perfection. We just expect you to try and we'll meet you where you are. Yeah, that's 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 the reasonable expectation. And we have a really good support environment here. So I feel like people can push through this year, especially since, you know, it's my last year. So I got to right. I really got to right. step on it. And senior year is tough because you're doing everything that a Davidson student is doing with the classes. And then you're adding on college applications, scholarships, decisions that really impact the rest of your life. And it's a lot to take on. Um, and I tell every senior this again, half full you can do hard things, but then again, we have to be realistic and make a plan that fits what you want to do and what is possible for you to do. Yeah, not everybody going to Harvard, but <laughs> and no one, not everyone should. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, I- I'm glad you came today. Uh, thank you all for listening here. Uh, we're gonna cut to a break, and then I'll be back with uh, the senior president herself. So, thank you all. <laughs> Come and get your pizza. I don't have four chicken nuggets to share lunch. Only four? You must be so hungry. Can't that is their change? Are you ready for some? Hot, gooey, cheesy, saucy. Make two lines and it won't be bossy. Three for one or five for two. I want some and so do you. Come and get your pizza. It's one for three and two for five. Don't want pizza? We got candy. We got soda and water. That's the plan B. Supporting AB. Make me so proud. When I get my food, I leave the crowd. Come and get your pizza. It's one for three and two for five. Now we have our uh, senior president here to uh, tell us about a couple events coming up. And uh, how are you doing today, Sierra? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. How are you? I could be a little bit cooler, but yeah, oh, other than that, okay, good. yeah, makes sense. So, uh, what what's going on? What's coming up in our little senior world? 
So, so far we have planned a few dates for our first semester. Um, our first senior breakfast will be November 1st and we will also be having a senior sunrise that day. Um, as of right now, we're thinking of getting it catered by Chick-fil-A, but that's not set in stone. Um, things are subject to change depending on prices. But our, all, our other senior event that we plan on doing is December the 11th, we're going to have another karaoke night. So if you were at the one when we were in 10th grade, we're just gonna have a replay of that, but with some hot cocoa and we're going to do our service project. So we would like to donate to an animal shelter, some some toys and blankets and stuff for for the holidays. Okay, can you explain the sunrise one? I haven't heard of that one yet. Okay, so basically we're just going to be, um, we'll go, We'll, we'll be here at the school pretty early and we'll just all get our senior breakfast and watch the sunrise together. Oh, awesome. And then second semester, we're going to do full circle and have a senior sunset. Okay. So, you know, we'll be going all the way around. It's going to be a little <laughs> sad. Um, and then um, we don't have the date for that one yet, but on the last day of school, we'll be having our senior picnic, um, which is going to be very fun because that's how the class did it last year. And we thought that that was a really good setup, how they had it done. And so those are the current dates that I have for you. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm sure everyone will be glad to hear these things are coming up and actually being done. We feel yeah. like we didn't do much junior year, but yeah. I know. I know. I'm sorry for <laughs> no, that. No shade. No shade or nothing. We're yeah. going we're gonna, to we're gonna do a lot this year. I'm yeah. very excited. Yeah. I believe in y'all. All right. Thank well, you. that's our show for today. Um, thank y'all for tuning in, and we'll catch y'all next time. Yep.